good to be able to spend time with you today again. And today we're going to read a special, special little book today. And it's called One Afternoon. And it's by Yumi Hill. But before we start our reading, we go before the Lord and give him thanks. So Father God, we just want to thank you today. And we just want to thank you for you giving us another day. And we just want to love you, love you, love you, love you, sweet Jesus. And we thank you for you loving, 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 loving the children in such a special way, Father God. We ask you that you continue to bless them, that you help them through this time, that you bless their mommies and their daddies and their homes and their families, and that you get us through all our trying moments one day at a time. Amen. So on the cover, we have here what we call a tenement apartment. That means tenement, it means there's different families on each floor. And usually it's about higher than three or four families, each one. So let's see what the story has to say. Each little family, each culture doing something different. Right? Okay, so let's see. Oh, and my pages stick. My pages stick. So here are other tenement buildings, and look how pretty. This um, author and illustrator, who does the pictures also together, pick nice, soft, pretty colors. And we call those soft colors, they're kind of like, kind of pastels, soft. So the story is about a little boy, and his name is Ming Ho. So Min Ho, let's see, where is Min Ho? Oh, here he goes. And the reason why I know is because it says, Min Ho liked to do errands with his mother. And errands is when you go and do things with your mom or your dad or somebody who's older, the responsible. So you could go to the store, you could go to the supermarket, you could go, um, to the dentist, you could go to get a haircut, lots of places and you're doing these little errands together, okay? So one afternoon, they went to the laundromat. So the laundromat is where we do what? The laundry, where we wash our clothes. Some people have a washing machine in their home, so they do it at home. Some people, if they have a house and it has a basement or something, they have a washer and a dryer, they do it there. But if you don't have room in the apartment where you live, you go to the laundromat. And here are the little washing machines and they're going thump, thump, thump. Let's do it together. Thump, 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 thump. So we have here the conditioners, the cleaners, the things and the Clorox and we don't work with those right we don't we just hold them for mommy and what have you but who pours that or who opens up those um jars and stuff are the adults the grown-ups right okay and then to the beauty salon so they dropped off the clothes they left it at the washing machine to be washed and then they went to the beauty salon and mommy was going to get her hair done, her, get her hair fixed. And there goes the scissors. Snip, 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 snip. Let's go. Let's try it. Ready? Snip, 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 snip. Do we snip, snip with the scissors with their hair? Uh-uh. Only mommy takes us to a special place or if mommy knows how to do it. But we don't do it. Not even playing around. We don't play with scissors. We always use our scissors when there's adults around to help supervise us, right? So we're careful not to get cut. So anyway, there's mommy with getting her hair cut. And sometimes it's a nice feeling when somebody is 
fixing your hair it makes you kind of sleepy it looks like mommy's enjoying her little haircut too but mean who is being an extra nice son because he's being patient and he's sitting there waiting for her so we see the difference around brushes the combs and this lady here is under the hair dryer this helps dry your hair without having to use the zzz, 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 blow dryer right yes and uh, this lady has a uh like a shower cap kind of a cap and she probably has conditioner in her hair to make her hair nice and and smooth and soft and we have the little curlers and these are the old phones the landline we call these landlines right okay so then after that minho was so so extra good that i think mommy thought it was time to go to at the ice cream store and minho got a vanilla cone right a vanilla ice cream cone yum and his is vanilla and those sprinkles are they colorful like rainbows Nope, they're brown. So if they're brown, what do you think they are? Chocolate. It's Luciano's favorite. Yum. And look all the way up here. Whoa, look at all the different flavors. Wow. Let's see. Maybe this is blueberry or sherbet. This is what? Chocolate. This looks like what? Vanilla. I don't know. This has some fruits in there. Maybe this has pistachios and strawberries. Whoa. Then we have the popsicles. And then we have the circle ones. Yum. And the milkshakes. Oh no, these are other different types of ice cream. Wow, this is a yummy ice cream store, right? Reminds me of Cornerstone. Have you been to Cornerstone? It's a nice one to visit on occasion because it's a little expensive. So then they went for a walk and they looked in the pet store window at the puppies. Whoa. So here's Mean Who with mommy. And they have the little hamsters. And they have the kittens. Meow, meow, meow. And they have the birdies. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And the woof, woof, woof. And ew. And this is the scooper for the cats. Mm -mm -mm. And we have the bowl with the food and the treats, the bones and stuff. Yeah, nice, a lot of stuff there, wow. Then they went and they picked up his father's shoe at the shoe repair store. Have you ever been to a shoe repair store? It's been a while. There's not many of those around anymore. But back in the day, you would get your shoes fixed. Sometimes some people still do. So at the shoe repair store, they fix the boots if there's anything or if you get new shoelaces. They fix the bottom of the shoe, the sole or the heels of the shoe. They put new ones and here's the shoe. Um, repairman and the special brushes to brush your shoes and make them nice and beautiful and the different shoe polishes and it's important that we keep our shoes nice and clean and in tip-top shape right because if not our feet will hurt so that you know if we have nice shoes and we take care of them it helps us keep our feet healthy as well and then they have the little taps miss luciano puts these on her shoes and that helps her shoes last a bit longer. So, wow, look at all that. And then they went and they got food for dinner. So they went food to get food for dinner at the supermarket. We haven't been able to go these past few days to the supermarket the way we used to, but hopefully, Lord willing, things will get better and we trust in the Lord and we'll be able to go to the supermarket again. So here we are with the supermarket and Ming Hu is helping mommy 
with the shopping. So he picked up some juice. And these are some things. Let's see what we have. We have Frank's hot dogs, right? We have some broccoli. Looks like we have some tuna, milk, ketchup. Yum. And some juice uh, bottles there. Some maybe looks like frozen pizza and vegetables, tomatoes, watermelon, right? Melons, lettuce, a scale to weigh how much you're getting. Here's some cans of soup, mayonnaise, and this is the register, the cash register, right? Where the money goes. And it goes beep, 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 ringing up. You put in the money, beep, 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 and what it is. And it brings up the receipt with what you're buying and how much you're paying. And it shows here on lit up, right? And then you open up and there's the money. Cha-ching, cling, cling, cha-ching. Or sometimes it has a little strip here and we use the credit card right the charge card but for us to use the charge card we have to have money because then you have to pay through that so last of all ming hu and his mother went back to the laundromat to get the clothes they had dropped off so they had dropped off the clothes and left it there. And I guess they must know the laundromat person who, who takes care of it because they took a long time, right? What did they do? They went to the salon. They went to the grocery store. What else? They went to pick up shoes. They looked at the pet store. So they did a lot of little errands and that clothes was still there. Ms. Luciana doesn't leave her clothes at the laundromat. She washes and, sh and she waits for it. Some people drop it off, they leave it, and then in the next day or two days, the person, the owners of the laundromat, wash it for them, and then they go pick it up, but you have to pay for that. Okay, so last of all, Minhu and his mother went back to the laundromat and they got the clothes. See how nicely folded they all are? And the shorts and the little, uh, I think this is a mitt and the socks, right? Everything nice and neat. And these are the dryers here. Whoops, and we have two pages here. So off they go back home and traffic was very heavy on the street. So the afternoon seems to be getting later and it looks like people are starting to go come home from work. We remember these days, it hasn't been like this in a long time lately, but long, Lord willing, we'll be getting back to that. There's a little Frankfurter truck there. Yum. The little fire hydrant, the little meters for the parking. Beep, beep, honk, 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 beep, 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 honk, 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 honk. So let's see what we have here. Well, we have the supermarket. This means enter, we go in and do, 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 and exit out. Then we have the shoe repair. We have the laundromat. We have the pet store. We have the ice cream store. We have the beauty salon. Hey, didn't mean who go practically to all of them. There's only one he didn't get to go to. Which one was it? The pizza, that's right. Who knows? Maybe they'll be having pizza for dinner. But whoa, he went through all those and I guess it was safe because I was worried because the laundromat was here in the clothes, but everything was nearby. So that wasn't a problem. Good thing, right? 
And then because of the construction, ding, 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 with those machines, those machines make so much noise. I don't like it. Sometimes they bother my ears. Do they bother your ears too? Yeah. So we just go like that and we pass by them quickly so that they don't hurt our ears for too long. And then on top of that, whoa, the fire, a fire engine tried to get through all that construction and the horns are going, ang, 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 ding, 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 ding. And then the fire truck, Ooh, wow. That was a busy, busy afternoon. And here's me home with mommy. The light is red and they're waiting patiently for all that commotion to stop so that they could get by. The L train was passing above. Whoa! So this L train was going to Main Street. Mmm. Clickety-clack, 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 clickety-clack. Do we have an L train? Yes, we do. We have an L train near school. That's the N train. The N train goes by there and the W. And... The seven train, right? So clickety clack, clickety clack. So near Minhu's apartment, children were playing stickball. I don't know if we see children playing stickball too much anymore. Now they're mostly playing soccer or basketball. But stickball, you take a stick and, and you play with your friends. So those were the days. And you see all the apartments on each side. And finally, after that long afternoon, Min Hoon and his mother were very happy to be home, back home, I'm sorry, in their quiet home. Min Hoon was tired and fell asleep on the couch. And he was trying to rest, but from the bathroom, oh boy, the water faucet had a leak. Blunk, 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 blunk. Does mean he'll look happy? No, he looks sad. Why does he look sad? I can't hear you, but I'll share it with you. He's probably sad because he was tired. He wanted to take a nap. And that plunk, plunk, plunk from the faucet wasn't letting him sleep. And that's what happened all in one afternoon. Wow. So that was a nice story. Don't you think so? I think so. And God blesses us to have a lot of nice afternoons, right? And mornings too. And we're always thankful. So, till next time, I love you. Be safe. I miss you. I can't wait to see you in person again. Take care.